Hello and welcome to the Coding Bytes. I am Abhishek Parmar and in this video we are going to solve a question of TCS and QT which was asked on 26 October 2020 in slot 1. So the question is fully automatic vending machine. So a fully automatic vending machine dispenses your cup on just press of button. A vending machine can serve a range of product as follows. So coffee has three type of coffees and then tea has eight type of teas and similarly soup has four type of soups and there are three type of beverages. So write a program to take input for main menu and sub menu and display the name of the sub menu selected in the following format. Enter the first letter to select main menu. So if user give a input then you will have to give the output as welcome to CCD and enter your whatever the name of the sub menu. For better understanding let's look at this particular test case. So in the first test case if the input is C and 1 then the output will be welcome to CCD enjoy your espresso coffee and in the test case 2 if the input is T and 9 then the output will be invalid option because if you look at the T so there are only 8 T's in particular T menu and that is why we are getting output invalid option. So now let's move to the solution of this question. So the problem was very easy and the solution is also easy. So for this particular problem first of all we are taking a integer variable num and a character variable ch. Now using scanf we will take the input for main menu and we will store that in ch variable and for sub menu we will take a integer and store it in variable num. Then we have a switch block and inside this switch block we have multiple cases. For example if the user input main menu as c then in this particular case we have else if block. Now in these else if statement first of all the condition is if num double equals to 1. So it means if user input main menu as c and sub menu as 1 then the output should be welcome to ccd enjoy your espresso coffee and similarly all these else if and else block will give desired result and if we move forward so we have a case for t which is the first letter of t so in this also we have else if conditions and according to the value of sub menu which is num we will get a desired output and we also have two cases for s and b which is soup and beverages. Now for these cases also we have else if conditions. Now these else if condition will be tested only when we have a particular case. Now if I execute this code and I give the input as C and 1. So you can see I am getting the output welcome to CCD enjoy your espresso coffee. Now if I again execute this code for another test case and this time I am giving T and 9. So you can see I am getting the output invalid option which means our program is working correctly. So I hope the explanation was clear but still if you have any doubt please let me know in the comment section below and also don't forget to subscribe this channel and for practicing more such questions you can visit our website prep drive. Thanks for watching.